Context Capture Desktop tutorial on adding additional engine to the job queue. Context Capture Desktop now allows up to one additional engine to use the same job queue as the master. This is done by opening the master computer and opening the Context Capture Settings application, navigating to the Configuration tab and determining the queue location. We will then ensure that the queue location is able to be reached by the worker computer. We can then open context capture settings on the worker and change the job queue directory to the same directory as the master computer. We will hit OK to save. And then open context capture engine on the worker computer. You should see the queue listed. We can then go back to the master computer to ensure that the worker is processing jobs in the queue. We can then open up our context capture settings. And go to our configuration tab and take a look at the job queue directory here. As we can see by default, it's gonna be in documents, Bentley, context capture desktop jobs. So we are now going to take that location and we will go to our worker computer here. Again, we will open context capture settings and set that as the job location in the configuration tab. We can then open our engine on the worker computer and we can see the location of the queue it's looking at. It is now looking at our master computer over the network. We can then go back to our master computer. We can open up another job. When we are in Context Capture, you can go to Tools, the Job Queue Monitor, and there you will see you have two engines listed. So if we have a Context Capture project, we can add some photos to it. We can then submit an AT on that, those photos. And we will see now that the AT is running on both computers. If we open up our engine, we can see the master plugging away there. And if we go back to our worker computer, we can see it is also working on the same AT job. When that finishes, we can create a reconstruction Make sure to change your spatial framework to generate more tiles. In this instance, I'm going to use adaptive tiling and I'm going to increase my RAM usage to give me two tiles only. We can then submit that job. To ensure that both engines are running, we can look at our more details, which will show both individual tiles running. Again, we can look at the engines themselves to confirm that they are running if necessary. When our two tiles are completed, we can go into our 3D view and we can see we have a single model comprised of the two tiles. Uh, because we're able to process two at the same time, uh, we roughly double our processing speed here. One thing to be aware of when you are working with additional engines off of the same master is that all of the files need to be reachable for both computers. Uh, when you're working over a network, oftentimes it's going to mean using UNC paths. Uh, to check this, you can go to your project settings options tab and then ensure that the UNC proxy is set. Uh, you can also hit the check above that to warn when non-UNC paths are being used. Uh, this will ensure that all of the files are reachable by both computers and you won't have any failings. 
And that is how you set up an additional engine on Context Capture Desktop.